shift gears for a minute, put your 5G hat on. We're starting to see some of our allies push back against Huawei, push back against their systems effectively being infiltrated. Do you think that we can turn this around to where Chinese and the, don't literally have the keys to the kingdom and the ability to spy on everybody? So it's, it goes right to the same problem of Wall Street and its industry. Industry has a stranglehold on on so the and, and theoretically the city of London. Because if you think about it, what what the United States started with this um, auctioning of spectrum mm -hmm. and the rise of the of the telecommunications networks, those have essentially become toll roads, toll roads that. Um, the telecom operators maintain. And they were, in, in the beginning, it kind of made sense because the technology kind of required that you built networks this way. But as technology, you know, evolved, we found our stuff and we find ourselves today stuck on toll roads when in reality we could open up this vast swath. Uh, you know, it's like it's like that 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 scene from the movie Independence Day where he's driving all the uh, RVs across the desert, and yeah. you've got this salt lake, you know, bed that you're driving on. And you have all of this space. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what we have in Spectrum. That's what technology can actually give us access today. Yeah. But the telecom industry says no. I want to keep you on my toll road. And so that's why we have such a problem. And the real estate developers say, get rid of the toll roads. That's great property. We can develop it. But here's the deal. <laughs> here's the brilliance of, of that whole idea. It actually plays into Huawei because, because they're stuck on these toll roads mm -hmm. and, they're, and they're rickety and they, 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 they don't have the latest equipment. Um, but what incentive do they have to build on it because they haven't made their investment back from 4G? Right. So along comes Huawei and says, hey, I'll sell that to you. Hey, I'll give it to you. Why? Why Why mm -hmm. would they give you the, the infrastructure? Why would they build it for you? Because what Silicon Valley found out is it's not the toll road. It's the data that rides on the toll road. Mm -hmm. That's where the, the value is. Right? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, That's what they want. They want the data. Greg, Greg Ip had a great... Uh, story in, in the Wall Street Journal a, a few weeks ago, and he basically plotted out on a graph and showed that, that Huawei's got almost a third of global telecommunications equipment in its possession, almost a third. If, if it gets to 50%, it will effectively be globally dominant. And, and this, is, this is the data gathering equipment that we're talking about here. So, so you know the, you know the um stock multiple on AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile. You also know the stock mo uh, multiple on Facebook, Amazon, and Google, mm -hmm. right? They're, right. Not in, they're not in the same class. No, they're okay? not in the same zip code, no. So, so one, is, one has got toll roads, mm -hmm. and the other one's got data. Right. Okay, so the Chinese look at this and they say, hmm, the Americans dominated 4G. Um, the, guys that, uh, <laughs> the guys that built the toll roads didn't make any money, but the guys that took the data and built the app services and business models on top of those toll roads, they're the ones that cleaned up. We cannot break into that, why? Because the two companies that control the platform for that are Apple and Google, mm -hmm. Android and iOS. And they're like, even Huawei, as hard as Huawei tried, they could not break into that because they have, they, they have the dominant position. Well, they are, they're called monopolies for a reason. Exactly. So, <laughs> so. so what did they say? They said, well, we're not even going to go there. We're just going to go to the next thing. And the next thing is not a smartphone world. So Android and iOS don't get to play. Right. It's about cameras and machines and everything connected. And that. So they're just basically going and they're, they're basically going, doing an end around. And their, their business model is this. Huawei, you go build the roads. Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent, mm -hmm. they'll be the monetization arm, right. right? They'll take the data, they'll monetize it, but it's not just for economic growth, it's also for social and political control because that's the way their system is. Right. And then Huawei, we'll just force Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent to fund your effort, right? 
So makes sense. If you were if you were going to do the same thing in um, here in the United States, what you do is you tax the tech companies mm -hmm. to pay for a, a new nationwide, you know, really great 5G. Can but, we do that? Well, we could if we wanted to, but we don't. We don't want to. We want to allow. Well, why, can't, why, why can't we want to? I mean, why can't we make it a matter of national security to want to? Well, I mean, we, we are. So you know, I, I get to I get to the White House, and um, my colleagues at the National Economic Council. When I say, "Hey, we need to do some industrial policy," says, um, "No, America doesn't do industrial policy." I said, "Well, you know, there's other nations that do, and." We're getting our ass handed to right. us yeah. because we're not. And so so the recent congressional report even that came out from um, the Republicans that did a report on the China study. If you look in the report and you look at what they did for 5G, there's nothing in there. Why? Because the telecom industry does not want the federal government to tell them how to build the next network. Oh, by the way, they're not actually building the next network because they are stuck in 4G. They're stuck on the smartphone. And what China did is said, okay, China Unicom, China Mobile, I, you know, in the past we've let you build your own networks. Mm -mm. You guys are going to build one network and you're going to share it. Remember what I said? Because the technology now allows you to open up vast swaths of spectrum. And if you build, you know, more than one physical network in your country. So think about this. You have two companies. This one has to spend a billion dollars, and this is a notional small country, so he spends a billion dollars building a telecom network. This one spends a billion dollars uh, on a telecom network, and then they're fighting for customers. Meanwhile, the customers get half the speed, and what yep. else? They pay twice the price. So half the speed at twice the price because the throughput, when you break them up like that in separate physical networks, mm -hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't make economic sense. So your cap. So for us in the United States, our capex is four times, our opex is four times, and our speed that the customer sees is one fourth. This is so. This is the 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 technology. This is what the technology has given us. But our industry models today are based on old technology. The Chinese, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure they read my report and said, okay, China Ucom, China Mobile, you're going to build one network, you're going to share it. Yep. And be and, efficient about it. And, and, uh, I want yeah, I mean, we don't. I mean, in, in, our, in, our, in our family, we've got one person has AT and T, and the other person has Verizon for when we travel. So when when one person loses loses coverage, the other person has it, and that's and that that's kind of a very real world example of of what's taking place.